shall discuss about respiratory system of leech and respiration takes place through skin okay skin it serves as the respiratory organ in leeches and through skin respiration or exchange of gases takes place and for that it has a dense network of tiny blood vessels which are called capillaries okay these capillaries contain hemocyclic fluid which is uh, equivalent to that of uh, blood and uh, these uh, capillaries blood capillaries they extend in between the cells of epidermis so that they are in close contact with the outside environment okay so it is easy for the animal to exchange gases okay oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out okay and it is uh, it occurs by a process called diffusion so the exchange of respiratory gases that is oxygen and carbon dioxide oxygen is uh, uh, diffused inside and uh, carbon dioxide it diffuses outside so this exchange of respiratory gases takes place uh, by means of this method called diffusion so for that the hemocyclic fluid which is like blood that runs inside capillaries blood capillaries and this blood capillaries uh, open nearly on the skin that is they extend up to the cells of the epidermis so that they are in close contact with the external environment so it is easy for the animal to exchange gases okay so oxygen dissolved in water diffuses through the skin into the hemocyclic fluid okay oxygen dissolved in water gets into the hemocyclic fluid and carbon dioxide which is present in the hemocyclic fluid it diffuses outside so the skin is kept moist and slimy due to secretion of mucus a substance which keeps the skin uh, moist and slimy so that it can facilitate diffusion so diffusion can occur easily uh, because of the secretion of mucus that keeps the skin moist and slimy mucus also prevents skin from drying okay so this is about respiration it's a very simple method of diffusion oxygen is taken that is uh, oxygen diffuses into the hemocyclic fluid and carbon dioxide it diffuses outside into the environment that is water it, uh, it is an aquatic animal so exchange of gases takes place between the water medium and the hemocyclic fluid which is present inside the capillaries which are the blood vessels the tiny capillaries which are called uh, the, the blood vessels which are tiny and which are called capillaries these capillaries only carry the hemocyclic fluid which is like blood okay so oxygen in from the hemocyclic fluid uh, that is uh, oxygen dissolved in water diffuses into the hemocyclic fluid and carbon dioxide from the hemocyclic fluid diffuses outside okay so we shall move on to the next slide and uh, this is about circulatory system in leeches circulation is brought about by hemocyclic system this is what i told already hemocyl hemo that is coelom it refers to the cavity body cavity and hemocyclic fluid it refers to the fluid like uh, that blood that is present in the body cavity so there are no true blood vessels no true blood vessels are uh, present so blood vessels are replaced by channels called hemocyclic channels so which carry this hemocyclic fluid which is like blood okay so no true blood vessels so uh, there are channels present which are called hemocyclic channels or also called hemocyclic canals uh, so which are filled with blood like fluid this fluid called hemocyclic fluid and hemocyclic uh, that is coelomic fluid contains pigment also hemo globin so hemoglobin is present so its blood it appears red in color that we can easily understand so this is to uh, show the picture of the circulatory system and the uh, circulatory system as i said it uh, that is the hemocyclic fluid it runs through uh, like that is the canals are the channels hemocyclic channels are hemocyclic canals okay there are four types of uh, canals are present and they are longitudinal channels that is lengthwise channels one channel lies on the dorsal side that is above the alimentary canal and one lies below the alimentary canal on the ventral side okay so there are four longitudinal channels or longitudinal canals which are also called hemocyclic channels or hemocyclic canals so they are four in number one channel on the dorsal side and uh, it is above the alimentary canal and one is on the ventral side that is below the alimentary canal so apart from it there are two other uh, channels are also present and they lie on either side that is lateral side so they lie at the lateral side of the alimentary canal 
and in addition to that they also serve as heart so lateral channels or lateral canals they serve as heart and have inner valves also all the four channels are connected together posteriorly in the 26th segment okay so i'm going back to the picture so these are the four uh, channels are the canals which help in circulating hemocyclic fluid and this is the dorsal hemocyclic channel and uh, these are the branches of the dorsal hemocyclic channel and this central central one this is called ventral hemocyclic channel and both the sides these are called lateral hemocyclic channel okay so it's a very simple system of circulatory system is present in leech so we shall move on to the next one uh, this is about uh, nervous system and nervous system also it's a very simple uh, system and it consists of a nerve ring okay nervous system consists of a nerve ring and a paired ventral nerve cord so this is the diagram so it shows the nerve ring so this is the enlarged part of this part okay this is the enlarged portion of the nerve ring so on the whole nervous system consists of two components a nerve ring and a double nerve cord okay a, a double nerve cord and a nerve ring so this nerve ring it is uh, it is formed of it formed of suprapharyngeal ganglion which is equivalent to brain and circumpharyngeal connective and subpharyngeal ganglion okay so nerve ring that is surrounding the pharynx and it is formed by or it is composed of suprapharyngeal ganglion which is equivalent to brain and circumpharyngeal ganglion uh, uh, that is circumpharyngeal connective and uh, that surrounds the pharynx so that is why pharynx pharyngeal it refers to pharynx circum refers to circular and connective it connects like a circular ring that surrounds the pharynx okay that is why it is called circum pharyngeal connective apart from it one one more ganglion is present which is called sub pharyngeal ganglion so supra pharyngeal ganglion sub pharyngeal ganglion supra pharyngeal ganglion we can understand from the name it is present uh, above the pharynx so it is called supra pharyngeal ganglion and sub pharyngeal ganglion it is uh, present below the pharynx so it is called sub pharyngeal ganglion and both of them and surrounded by both of them are surrounded by this circumpharyngeal connective okay so all this component suprapharyngeal ganglion which is equivalent to brain and circumpharyngeal connective and subpharyngeal ganglion so all this all these components are included under this nerve ring so apart from it there is a, a nerve cord is also double nerve cord is also present and subpharyngeal ganglion it is formed by the fusion of four pairs of ganglia okay so this is uh, the diagram to show that so as i said this is the circumpharyngeal connective and it is formed of uh, that is a, it is a ring now that is ring nerve ring which is formed by the uh, circumpharyngeal connective and there are two ganglions present suprapharyngeal ganglion and subpharyngeal ganglion and this is the first ganglion and this is the double nerve cord so i'm going uh, to the next slide and this is about excretory system of leech okay and leech excretion takes place by segmentally arranged paired tubules called nephridia this is already we have learnt also so there are 17 pairs of nephridia are present which open uh, to outside by nephridia pores and they are arranged uh, on the segments from 6th to 22nd segment okay and this is the uh, slide it is to show the nephridia so these are the nephridia they are the paired uh, organs and uh, they open outside through nephridia pores which are the openings and uh, through which they can remove their waste okay so in the next class we shall discuss about reproductive system so in the in the first in this class we discussed about what is how respiration takes place in leech okay and uh, it is through skin and it is it is by a uh, easy method of diffusion and uh, we discussed about circulatory system also and uh, we also discussed about uh, nervous system and excretory system